Okay, YouTube, so today I picked up this Sonos Beam, is what it is, and we're going to install it here in our home theater. So we have the Bose Cinemate 15, um, but it's time for an upgrade. It's still a good unit. I'd still recommend this, but we've had it for, you know, probably three or four years, and so we're going to try this new one out because it has built-in Google and Alexa, and so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so here's the unit and power cord, obviously. It shows you there. You can pull it out and open it up. I know the power cord is likely inside. Um, yes, it is. Along with uh, probably the HDMI cord. That's what it looks like there. Um, so, take it right out. Uh, it's just a matter of hooking it up to the TV from this point. So, I'm going to have to mess with that for a minute. And then I'll show it once it's up, mounted up here in place of this Bose unit. All right. So it's hooked up. As you can see, the lights are on. We're going to go ahead and uh, do the uh, Google Assistant. You're going to do that through the Sonos app. I'll you know, talk about that in the next part of the video. But yeah, it's just plug it in. HDMI, you have to do the HDMI ARC, ARK, or sorry, ARC on your uh, television. And then uh, it'll go ahead and uh, run through here. But then you got to set up through the Sonos app. And it's pretty much ready to grow. Go, you know, it's uh, pretty good. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not bad on the surround sound. I've we've uh, watched a couple movies and it's been good. So uh, yeah. Okay, Google, stop. So we've got it set up, obviously. Um, so I've, I've connected this with my Google Home, and so you could say, Hey, Google, what's the weather like today? Today in Echo Lake, it will be cloudy with a forecasted high of 48 and a low of 43. It's currently 46 and cloudy. So you can see it works just like a Google Home device like we have over there. And uh, so you just got to kind of set it up in the room that you want it in. You got to add whatever apps you want on it through the Sonus app. So a lot of the setup is done through the, the, through the app itself. Um, I don't really even have to touch any of these things because the volume, I could just give it a voice command to do the volume. Or, of course, if I have my TV going, I just use my Apple TV remote to turn up the volume. And it seems like it fills up the room pretty good. Um, I think that I'll likely add a subwoofer. You know, the wireless one down here and then maybe some surround sound speakers because I just like the, uh, um, the way that everything works together um, really well. And so... There you go, quick, I know, not technical review, but um, uh, that's, uh, you know, my setup of the uh, Sonos Beam. Another thing this will do is if you hook it up to your Google Assistant or Alexa, um, you do it through the app, go through Sonos app, and then go to settings and voice uh, control or something like that, then you'll be able to add it. And then in your Google Assistant, you can add the Sonos Beam. And then you can say, okay, Google, turn on the Family Room TV. Sure, turning on the family room TV. And you can see it's coming on, and our Apple TV box is on as well. So we have our main menu. So let's see if we can get to turn everything off. Okay, Google, turn off the family room TV. Sure, turning the family room TV on. Uh, so there you go. It uh, does work just with your voice if you're able to add that on, and uh, works pretty well. Even the Apple uh, box there went off as well. Okay, Google, turn on the family room TV. Okay, turning the family room TV on. So that's on, and let's see if our box gets a little white light on it here in just a second. It shouldn't take very long. It's asking on my TV. Oh, there it goes, popped right on its own. So it should turn on itself. So there you have it. That's one other thing you can do. Pretty cool feature. All right, so that's it. Um, you can turn it on and off with Google Assistant. I haven't yet figured out how to tell it to uh, my Apple TV to, you know, just by voice uh, to open up these things and play certain things. That would be cool once I can figure that out. If you know how to do that, comment with the link down below to someone else's channel uh, so that I can uh, check that out. But uh, that'll do it for now. As always, please subscribe and ask any questions in the comments below.